Hi everyone, my name is Juno. I have a health science background and I'm the author of the book Truth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. And I'll put a link to the book below. This video is about the importance of nose breathing when we exercise and to keep our exercise intensity to low to medium uh, level so that we can reach our health goals. Most people in North America have noticed the epidemic of obesity that we're facing. And when a person is trying to get fit, usually they want to lose uh, adipose tissue or fat. And the, the best way to do so, interesting enough, is not by increasing the intensity of the exercises because when let's say we go a little for a sprint or we work out very hard, the body will use glucose as a fuel instead of using fat. And obviously when a person wants to lose weight, they don't want to use, use muscle mass or water or sugar. They want to slim down, especially when it comes to the abdominal area. And when it say you slow down the intensity of your exercise, you give your body time because the, the body needs time and oxygen to burn fat. So let's say if you decide to go for a walk for 20 minutes, it's a lot more effective than uh, going for a really fast run for a minute or two. And you can actually even see that, let's say, in the Olympics. If you look at um, long-distance runners or people who are, actually, they, there are some who actually are just uh, fast walkers, you will see that there's not much fat on their bodies because the body had enough time to get into the fat stores to use as uh, fuel. And we are, as human beings, fat burners, not sugar burners. Sugar doesn't give you much energy for, for long. Whereas, as we probably noticed, we have unlimited space to, <laughs> to store fat. So that's why you want people to uh, exercise in a way that gives the body time to draw from your fat storage. The other aspect that is rarely talked about is the necessity to breathe through the nose versus through the mouth when we exercise. And the rule of thumb should be, if you can't breathe through the nose while you're exercising, you exercise at a too high level. And when you breathe through the nose, the body gets better oxygenation because of the Bohr effect. So the Bohr effect essentially means that when you take lighter, slower breaths through the nose, you increase the carbon dioxide in your tissues, and when the red blood cells are in an environment with a high concentration of carbon dioxide, the red blood cells deliver more oxygen to the tissue. So essentially, to burn more fat, it's better to breathe through the nose and to slow down the intensity of your exercises. And I know that's sort of counterintuitive, but in other words, working uh, smarter is better than working harder when it comes to getting results for your overall health. It's better to breathe through the nose, slow down the intensity of the exercise, extend the duration so that you can get better results and lose weight permanently without having to use willpower to not eat sugar because you would burn more sugar than fat by increasing the intensity of your exercises. So I trust that uh, this information was uh, interesting. Maybe you've learned something. If so, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and we will talk soon.